a solid state regulator now fitted. So now is the moment of truth. It's just minus the cover there, uh, but I want to test it first. Or I'll wire it up as you can see using the uh, original connections. Let's give it a go. Fingers crossed. Let's hope that fortune cookie was correct. give this a fast idle now because the engine's lost a lot of heat. It's uh, looking good. Well, my word. Light straight out. I need to straight up. Struggling to get that without all these damn reflections, but you can see it. So I'm expecting that to fall off gradually drop down to a trickle charge Looking good. Oh yeah, we just rolled over to 61,000 miles. That's about 10,000 miles in, in my ownership over the last two years or so. Not all without incident, but uh, I've got it to a good reliable uh, stage now. Let's just push this in. Oh yeah, and the ignition uh, warning light works just as it used to do as well. Comes on at idle. Amps drop away. Increase the speed and it comes back on. Turn a few accessories on. Put the blower on. Switch headlights on. Battery voltage has is dipped. But it's still near, still close to 13. And look, the ammeter's uh, the ammeter's showing a charge, which it wasn't doing before. Of course, uh, with a, a lead acid battery, you know the the uh, the demands are constantly changing. So there's never going to be any any uh, set figure because uh, the battery might be fully charged. It might be it might be part charged, and then the charging system uh, has to uh, 
has to then uh, make up for that uh, so it will only put in what is needed so if the battery is fully charged then this is just uh, this is just keeping it uh, in that state either way I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with that Switch, switch the lights off. Switch the blower off. And then, of course, this is just with the engine idling here. I'm not, uh, I'm not actually driving. That will be my next test, but of course, I won't be able to film that. With, even with the old uh, regulator, the three bobbin, with the three bobbins in, I was never ever left with a flat battery ever. I never had to resort to uh, external charging or use of the starting handle. So I was never uh, left with a discharged battery. The only, uh, the only issue I did have was uh, sometimes I had to top the battery up uh, quite regularly because uh, the electrolyte was, was boiling off. I was having to do that almost, uh, well I think it was fortnightly, top the cells up so it was definitely overcharging and then I adjusted that uh, but it, as you've seen it's, it wasn't really giving satisfactory charge with headlights on and the blower on which if you were undertaking a long night journey uh, it, it, would, it would prove problematic plus you get in that vault drop as well to the headlamps when they need it, all the power, all the voltage they can get for nice bright lights but this seems to have just, this seems to have done the job perfectly I'm happy with that. Next thing to do, go for a test drive. Go for a test drive, put the cover on and get out on the road. But yeah, good result. Lunchtime.